Hey guys, Brian, Mr. SF Studios. Working on the Vega today. I'm going to put a set of plugs in. I've been running the E3s. They've been alright, but lately I just, I don't know, I think it's probably time to give it a tune-up anyway. So the first thing i got to do is check the gap on all these, because according to the manual, they're supposed to be set at .035. So we'll check that with a, a gap tool to keep up here. Either of these works. You got the wire kind or you got the disc kind. Find 035, be right about there. Check the gap. So the cool thing about this wire gauge is it has these for helping bend the uh, not the electrode but the um, what do they call that? The arm, I guess. <laughs> bend it down. You just kind of hook it under and then you can bend it bend it in. And then check it. There we go. That's about 036. I think that's close enough. So I'll set them all to that and then pull out the E3s. Now there seems to be some debate whether to use uh, anti C's on your spark plugs or not. But I just put a little. What can it hurt? It's not going to impede the flow of electricity or anything. It will certainly keep them from corroding to the cast iron head. So I just put a little dot on each and then with my finger smooth it around. And I like to just put a little dab of dielectric grease on each terminal. Make uh, taking them on and off easier next time. Now the Vega is old school so it wouldn't be metric, it would be standard. Pull out the old standard box. Get your tool. I always tell people that if you can change a light bulb, you can change a spark plug. However, you just gotta figure that light bulb is going to be hard to get to. <laughs> that wrench is pretty easy. It's just either tight or loose. Get the old E3 out. These aren't even that old, but yeah, I mean, they don't look that bad, but I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to try normal plugs. The E3s were okay for a while, but I don't know, as they age, they seem to get weird. You always want to start it out by hand. Make sure you thread it into the head on the threads. You don't want to cross thread it ever. Once you get it started, do the rest with the wrench. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. They don't look bad at all. Ah, spark plugs are cheap. I just want to compare and contrast these E3s with a normal platinum. See how they are. So that's how you put spark plugs in a Chevy Vega 2300. Pretty easy. These actually were burning really clean. Yeah. I think I had about 10, 12,000 miles on them. Is it worth all the hype? I don't know. Initially it seemed like it, but look at that. Look at that. That could not have been good. That must have been arcing. No wonder it kind of sounded like it had a semi-miss. I don't know if you can see that, but it's totally split. There, see? I wonder if I could send that in. Well, I'm not going to run these again anyway. They were fun, but I think standard plugs work just fine. These are Autolite Double Platinum, which should be good. Well, let's fire it up and see how it sounds. That sounds good.
Big old nasty tower cam. Wopsy, wopsy, wopsy. See, it's right in the normal range. Uh, it says normal is gray and brown deposits, and that's pretty much what we have here. Lightly coated core nose. Engine's in good condition. So that's what you want to see is just kind of tan brown crust. No oily black goop. Yeah, these all look really good except for the one that's, of course, broken. Haha. <laughs> it's amazing that that was working. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yikes. Oh, well. So, thank you, E3. Whoa, guys, check this one out. This one's cracking at the resistor near the tip. Do you see that split? I don't know. I'm not really impressed with these. They're great when they're new, but they sure don't hold up very well. I like to put stuff up under the hood when I try them out, but I don't think I want this on here anymore. Goodbye. Goodbye, E3. Hello, Autolite. Oh, God, their sticker is just as nasty as their spark plugs. Look at that. There we go. Okay, I just drove it. It runs much better. I mean, how could it not? One of those plugs was broken in half. So, looking at the book, I put those E3s in a decade ago. This is how sad. I don't really drive this car much. But, uh, it's only been 7,000 miles. And, um... In that time, two of them have cracked. In 7,000 miles, two of these are now defective. That one, that one's got the crack. I don't know if you can see it in that resistor. And the other one completely split in half and I threw it in the garbage. There it is. So, E3, poo poo. Not gonna do it. No sir, didn't like it. Four of these auto lights were only 26 bucks, and they are double platinum, so la di da, whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Be well.